Welcome in Leos. I'm Maria at Indigo Earth. I am here to do a general reading for you, our fire signs, Leo. So good to have you here. Thank you for coming into the channel. Let's welcome in your cross watchers as well. Please feel free to swap around the energies as need be throughout the reading. And time is fluid, so anytime that you come across this message and you were drawn into it was a time that you were meant to listen to it. Messages coming through for you, Leo, should reflect some aspect of your current situation. doesn't have to re reflect the whole thing, just some aspects, as well as and or an inner knowing. So take what fits, and if it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Just means the meeting might be for somebody else this week. But for those of you that this does resonate with, I will have an extended at the end of this video. We're going to dive deeper into your messages by exploring the zodiac signs that come through in your reading. And those zodiac signs can be about intimate connections. They can also be about background players, friends, extended family, blended family, um, distant cousins, aunts, uncles, colleagues, work associates, best friends. And even if you don't know their zodiac sign, you will be able to pick up on the energies as I go through the zodiac signs in the extended. So just keep that in the back of your head as we keep going through the reading here. And thank you for all the well wishes for our cat Sylvester who did survive surgery. Uh, Sylvester is an older cat, he is a rescue. Um, he made it through surgery, he is recovering, it's taking a bit of time. But it looks like he'll be with us for a little while longer. So hopefully you'll get to see him come sauntering through here some point during the reading. But thank you for all the well wishes for him. He is eating and sitting on his throne. <laughs> all right, so this is for Leo. Moon. Rising. And sun. This is for Leo. Moon. Rising. And sun. Messages for those watching, please. This is for Leo, Moon, Rising, and Sun. This is for Leo, Moon, Rising, and Sun. It's for Leo, Moon, Rising, and Sun. One more time. This is for Leo, Moon, Rising, and Sun. All right, here we go. So overall theme for the reading, or overall energetic issue, we have the Eight of Swords. Um... You're trying to advance. You're trying to release yourself from, I don't know, looks like you might be beating yourself up about an issue or putting yourself down or not believing in yourself. Let's see where this goes. What is your current energy right now? Seven of Cups. Seem kind of lost. Could be maybe feeling bad about a decision or an idea or something that maybe happened that maybe you feel somewhat responsible for. You're trying to maybe figure things out or put the pieces of the puzzle together. Let's see what your situation is. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Wands. So sometimes the Queen of Wands can be very fiery. <laughs> sometimes she can be very, and this is not gender specific, it's just an energy, um, likes a lot of attention. Um, bit of a drama queen at times, could be jealousy, could be envy, could be using sexualism, but we'll see where that goes. So let's see what your challenge is in this, situ in this situation here. Queen of Swords, asking good questions, getting clear, using your experiential knowledge, your experiential wisdom, Something about your experiences here to see things clearly. So let's see what life is working on with you. Ace of Wands. New concept, new ideas, new beginning. Something different. Something that's out of the ordinary. Something out of your comfort zone. 
Let's see what you've mastered up until this point. We have the Six of Cups. So this could be about maturity. This can also be about remembrance. Um, could be about issues of the past. So what's going to be heading your way in the next zero to three months? We have the Six of Swords. You're trying to move forward on something here. Or move away from. So let's see what that is. What crowns you in this whole situation? What, what works for you? What assets do you have when this situation arises? We have the Three of Pentacles. So cooperative, you work good with others. Maybe you're seeking mentors. Maybe you're um, seeking advice, seeking help from other people, asking for help. So this is what crowns you in this situation. These are your assets. So what are the outside influences playing on this right now? We have the five of wands, clamoring. Might be a lot of influences or a lot coming at you right now or a lot of naysayers, um, preventing challenges, maybe preventing obstacles. So your next steps, eight of wands, advancement, moving forward. Might be out to use your voice and speak your piece here. Because the big picture of why all this is going on, we have the King of Cups. This could be about forgiveness for self and for others. This could be about learning how to love through compassion and empathy and understanding. So how is this all going to play out for you? We have the Four of Pentacles. Think things are going to level out. There are going to be things that you'll be able to hang on to that are known to you. And there are also going to be things maybe that just don't need to be there anymore. But I think you're going to find resolve here. Things are going to level out. So this kind of seems to be a lot going on. <laughs> and... I think it has to do maybe with a situation or a circumstance. I, I feel it, it kind of feels like you're really throwing yourself under the bus here. Guilt. So let's find out what this is and how you're going to move through this. So what's your situation right now as a Queen of Wands? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. There's no major arcana in here. Usually when there's a lot of major arcanas, that means this is a huge shift in your life. This seems to be somewhat situational in nature, so this too shall pass, so to speak. But let's see what the Queen of Wands is. We have the Five of Pentacles coming through. We have the King of Pentacles coming through. And we have the Nine of Swords. This, for some of you, this could have something to do with kind of putting up a front. Um, kind of not showing what's really going on inside. Um, making things look okay, making things look good. Like, kind of like what you're presenting on the outside isn't really what you're feeling on the inside. For others of you, um, you could be dealing with a earth sign. Could be dealing with an earth sign that maybe is 
or or a, another fire sign that maybe went to an earth sign or an earth sign that may have went to a fire sign <clears throat> fire signs aries leo sag earth signs cap uh taurus virgo capricorn and i think this has made you very very sad for others of you there's a lot of sadness here that's being covered up You don't want people to see what's really going on on the inside of you. Could be looking like everything's okay. Putting on a good show, being, you know, but really, it's not okay. You're not okay. This is leaning towards looking like this might be about a, relation, a relational issue, but I'll, I'm gonna keep going here, um, which most everything in this life is, right? But it looks like, you know, either fire sign left to go with a earth sign, or earth sign went to go with a fire sign. I don't know if you feel like you caused some of this or you were, maybe you blew up Well, let's see what's going on here because here's your challenge or your opportunity to ask really good questions to see things for what they are kind of maybe the way or look for the red flags as well but i think you're trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together here you're trying to you're confused you're trying to figure some things out you don't know what's going on you're trying to get something solved or resolved so clarify what the Queen of Swords is here for our Leos. We have the Fool. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Ace of Cups. For some of you, you could have been a little bit hasty in um, jumping into a relationship that you thought was like your diamond in the rough. <laughs> Maybe you thought like, I'm all in, right? The Fool and the Nine of Cups, I am all in. Um, and the Ace of Cups. And you may not have asked enough questions or found out enough about this person or don't know really what was going on. Um, you may not have investigated enough at this point. So let's find out what, the, what life is trying to help you with. Ace of Wands. Some of you may have took, yeah, you may have taken a risk. You may have taken a risk and jumped in a little bit before, like you didn't get your feet wet first. What is the Ace of Wands then? We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Wands. Well, I think you raised your standards here. We have the Knight of Cups. I mean, this is something that is like, you're taking initiative, right? You're, you're moving forward on something. You want to move forward on something. Um, you've been patient here. Maybe this is something that you've been waiting for for quite some time. And you, you, you know, Knight of Wands, you're ready to go. This is it. I want to start over again. I want to be, this is what I want. I want to move forward. Um, for others of you, this could have been an apology coming in. Long awaited for. And there may have been some impulsivity in this that you jumped in too fast. 
Because although life is trying to co-create with you some sort of tangible new beginning that's very inspiring and inspirational, um, there may be some things that need to be ironed out first within yourself before that's going to be moving forward or before that's going to be able to take place. Because maybe the situation here with, you know, the, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, like, you know, the King of Pentacles is very um, driven by how they look, right? That's all about the material world. And the Queen of Wands is very charismatic and dynamic and, and, you know, she's invigorating and she draws people in. But right in between both of these, you have loneliness and you have fear. And what's driving this reading is um, not seeing your value and your own worth. holding yourself hostage. So let's keep going with this because what you've mastered has something to do with trying to mature, trying to um, maybe, that doesn't necessarily mean you maturing, but something needs to mature itself or something needs to grow or something needs to develop. So we have the Seven of Swords and we have the Hanged Man. Well, the Seven of Swords is all about truth and authenticity. And then we have the Knight of Swords. I think you've had some very clear messages about Or something's driving you. That's what this is. Something's driving this. And this could have something to do with this. For some of you, this could have something to do um, with something from your past. Some sort of past issue where there may not have been the truth in a situation. Or there may have been some sort of um, sneaking through the back door or trying to evade an issue. Um, that seems to just kind of linger in the background here. That's kind of like lingering. I think maybe you thought you had gotten away from it or it had gotten away from you or you had left that behind. But it might be kind of sneaking up on you again. Seven of Swords, right? Because this is kind of like how you got here. Because <laughs> you've mastered this already, right? You've done this already. So as we move forward and you look at this about what's kind of still lingering here, even though maybe, you know, you may have moved on from this or left this behind, it, it seems like it's coming through again, like out of the blue. And so is this what you want moving forward then? Let's look at, is this what you want moving forward? Because the opportunity coming towards you in the next zero to three months is the Six of Swords. So you are definitely trying to persevere through something, get through something, either move away from it or get to calmer waters or to, um, you know, we don't want to evade anything. But let's see what this opportunity is that's heading your way. What is this opportunity? Clarify the opportunity for Leo. Because you've set some high standards. And you've waited. You've waited. But something here is still lingering. So we have Justice. We have the Nine of Wands. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. You got two Nines coming through here. That's about attainment. This seems to be kind of a hard felt attainment coming through. Um, 
and you got justice in here. So you're, you're trying to, the opportunity for you to be able to, truth is coming through, right? Moving towards some sort of truth. Um, it's going to be maybe a hard truth to understand. Um, but it's the best thing for you. It's doing what's best for you. Because once this opportunity comes towards you, you your assets is to be able to ask for help or to start building with other people or to start learning or to reach out to a mentor. Think you're gonna start moving towards the truth or the heart of the matter. And I think you're gonna start, I mean, this is, you got two cards of attainment. You're gonna start understanding maybe that there's some things still lingering here, maybe from a past relationship or, you know, something may have gotten triggered here from whatever this is that came in. And although when the Six of Swords shows up, although you moved away from it, the feelings are still lingering there. Because justice is about cause and effect as well. So this could still be kind of penetrating itself into new situations. Because don't forget the underlying issue here is something to do with value. How you see yourself. Are you beating yourself up about stuff? Are you taking on, you know, emotions that don't belong to you? Because ultimately, the overall picture is about forgiveness. And that has to do with forgiving yourself as well. Because you're just as important. So for the Three of Pentacles, we have the Page of Wands. So could be seeking maybe a mentor or could be maybe asking for help once this opportunity comes in. And we got the Fool. So you can start again. You can start again. Let's... Move all this out of the way. I want to start fresh. Not carrying the baggage with you. Yeah, see? You want to start fresh. Ace of Pentacles. And that is an asset because the desire is there. Page of Wands. The desire is there to move forward and to not take any of this... This isness with you... So let's see what these outside forces are because we got the five of wands down here for the outside influences. So what is what is this? What is this five of wands here? What does Leo need to know about the five of wands? That's too many. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Cups. This is all energy. The influences are energy. There's change coming. You got three fives in here and the Four of Pentacles. So the outside energy is a lot feels like a lot of sadness. It feels like things from the past. It feels like a, a position or a time when maybe there was loss or loneliness and confusion that a lot was coming at you. Um, and you got the Four of Pentacles here. So 
there's some kind of energy that you're still carrying with you as you move forward here. So probably is a good thing to find mentorship or to, to maybe work with, you know, somebody who's maybe overcome some of the situations that you've overcome here or what it is that you have need to, um, to push through because you got the nine of swords, you got the nine of wands and you got the nine of pentacles. So attainment is just around the corner. But it's, and you got the nine of cups. You got all the nines. But there's no tens yet. Tens are completion. So you're like at that final, like, that, like, if you can get this down, if you can get through this, then it'll, there's a completion here. Because attainment is trying to push its way through. But there's some sort of energy here that's, that's, coming along in your suitcase, <laughs> so to speak, right? Or your backpack, like it's just kind of hanging there. Doesn't want to go away. So your next steps here, Eight of Wands. That's communication. Could be communication with yourself. Communicating. Your heartbreak, your sadness. You got communication with communication. So this is all based on something that happened that you are telling yourself. And it has to do with pain and sadness and regret and um, hurt feelings. This, this keeps penetrating itself in. So what is that saying? For every negative thought or voice that you hear that comes through your head, you verbally and openly and outwardly talk to it in the sense that you, this isn't negative positive, but you, and you're not counterattacking, you're um, resolving, you're directing traffic so to speak so every time a, a negative comment comes in you are going to direct it with a, something that is uplifting and inspiring for you so um, I don't know some I don't know I don't know something easy you parked in the wrong parking space today you dummy something like that you know what I took the best space that was available to me at this time. I can always go move my car in a, late, a little bit later. And right now I'm just going to go in and take care of the things that I need to take care of and be able to move my car if need be. And if not, then it can sit there. So you're redirecting the traffic in your head, <laughs> so to speak. And you're talking to it. Because it's talking to you, right? It's talking to you. Page of Swords, thoughts. There you go. The thoughts that are milling and milling and milling and milling. This is about starting to talk your way through this with yourself. Work your way through it. This is about forgiving yourself. This is about loving yourself. This is about not only a love for humanity, but it's about a, a global love for yourself as well. We have the tower. This is going to be a change for you. But it needs to happen kind of abruptly. One more on that, please. Another attainment card. Because you want happiness. You want to feel good about yourself. You want to feel good about your life. You want to feel good about the choices that you make. You want to attain some sort of happiness here. So this is about being able to forgive yourself and to be able to love yourself unconditionally. And I know that it gets thrown around so much lately that it loses its impact, I think. It just kind of becomes like you hear it over and over and over again and it just kind of dulls and kind of dulls itself out 
But this is really what this is about here. So give me one more on how this is all going to play out because we have the Four of Pentacles. And it doesn't mean you have to throw the baby out with the bathwater. You can keep things that are important to you. See how she's kind of holding on to that purse with you know a few things that really matter to her, that mean something to her, that stabilizes her? Or him, can be a him too. So give me one more on this Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Strength. That inner resolve. So it's hanging on to the things that uplift you and give you strength and give you power and give you inner resolve and letting go of the things that aren't bringing you to your Nine of Cups. And that's not resistance. What you resist persists. It has nothing to do with resistance. It has to do with redirecting traffic to where you want it to go. Because you want your Nine of Cups. So we're going to redirect it to the Nine of Cups. And like I said, you know, one of the assets is, is that you're not afraid to ask for help. You're not afraid to ask for help or seek out, you know, maybe people who can kind of help you get on the right track, the fool. Help you get on the right track to where you really want to go. New beginning. New tangible beginning. So let's see who we got coming in here for you. Um, we have Leo. There you are. We have the tower. That's Scorpio. We have the Fool, that's Aquarius. Didn't have a whole lot of Major Arcana. That's why this seems to be something that seems to be more of a situational aspect. Uh, we got Pisces and Cancer coming in here. And I'm going to look at um, Earth signs in general. Just Earth signs. <clears throat> Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, in the extended as well. As well as get actions and advice for you. For those of you not going on, this is from the Essential Oils Healing deck. Sometimes I do crystals, sometimes I do oils. This is an oil that you can use to help you through this transition or help you through this change or assist you in this change. Something tangible that you can work with. Touch, smell, aromatherapy, smell, right? <laughs> All right, so this is for our Leos. Oh, pretty. Sandalwood unifies the body, the mind, and the spirit, which is a global king of cups, body, mind, and spirit. So let's find out about sandalwood. This wood was used to create carvings of religious icons and decorations on furniture and temples. And it plays an essential role in the Islamic spirituality. In Hinduism, it's believed that the goddess Lakishma, Lakishmi resides in the sandalwood trees. It plays a critical part in Ayurvedic medicine, Tibetan medicine, and Chinese medicines by facilitating meditation. Sandalwood essential oil is a natural anti-inflammatory and anti-infectious remedy. In many spiritual traditions, sandalwood is believed to connect heaven and earth and encourages states of higher consciousness. Sandalwood essential oil has a deeply relaxing quality that can help soothe the mind and induce meditative states. It is believed to encourage the union of body, mind, and spirit and to connect us to our higher selves. It alleviates excessive worry. Well, there's your nine of swords in your situation. It alleviates excessive worry and attachment to a particular outcome, creating greater acceptance of your life. It can also be used for Alzheimer's disease, anxiety, bronchitis, cancer, chronic illness, 
coughs, cramps, depression, dry scalp, dry skin, eczema, eczema, um, fluid retention, insomnia, lung functions, meditation and yoga, nausea, nervous tension, psoriasis, restlessness, scarring, skin care, skin infections, tumors, wounds, and throat infections. Remember that whenever you apply um, essential oils, you never apply it directly to the skin if you're gonna use it topically. You always use a carrier oil such as jojoba, um, coconut oil, or sweet almond oil. And um, you can also use it as a patch, right? Put it on a patch and just smell it throughout your day wherever you want. And they also have the bracelets that you can wear where you can put um, some of the oil on the bracelet and just smell throughout the day as well. So I hope this helped, Leo. For those of you going on, the link to the extended is in the description box below. And until next time, may the peace that passes all understanding embrace the essence of your being. Bye-bye.